G'day guys, welcome to my video, which is the round 23 predictions for the NRL. I'm not in the comfort of my home tonight, I've got a work staff meeting, but I'm bringing this YouTube video straight up for you guys. Okay, the first game being played at Bankwest Stadium, I'll be there vlogging it for you guys. The Parramatta Eels, my team of course, taking on the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. The Bulldogs have found a bit of form lately. They are looking good, looking like a very dangerous side. But I think the Eels um, at home here, they should be too good in a very competitive clash. A lot of people think they'll win big, um, and I was thinking they'd win big, but the Bulldogs, they've beaten the Rabbits. They call them the Grim Reapers, as I've described at the moment. As for the ins and outs, uh, Michael Leisha is named in jersey 20 for the side, for the Bulldogs. We've got Jamin Salmon in jersey 21, George Jennings in jersey 19, and Junior Paulo back, which drops Murata Nakore uh, and Daniel Alvaro back to the interchange. Look, I'm going to tip the Eels here, um, and I'm going to tip them. I have my score here. It was either 6 or 8. I completely forget. No, it was 10. I think it'll be a high-scoring one. I think the Bulldogs put a good effort in. Um, Harry Weir and Ira is in great form at the moment. I think the Eels win at Bankwest home, 26 points to 16. The next game, I'm tipping an upset here. One 300 Smile Stadium is expected a rebuild after this game and one more clash, which I think is against the Dogs. And I think the Cowboys here are gonna be too good against the Panthers. The Panthers are fighting for a top eight spot and I thought they'd be there, but at the moment their form is really on and off, just like uh, the inconsistent Warriors. Um, as for this match, uh, Malachi Watan Selesniak is named in jersey 20. Uh, Jerome Luai is named in jersey 14, so he's on the bench. Josh Mansour is out for the Panthers, as well as Sione Katoa. Uh, Jason Tamalolo is in for the Cowboys this week. Um, yeah, I think the Cowboys will be too good in this match at home. They're due for a win. They're desperate to um, keep the, their season. The season's over, but. Matt Scott's had a, a stroke. There's a lot to go off. I think there's some confidence coming out of the club. 22 to 20, Cowboys to beat the Panthers. They're specials this week. The next game, it's gonna be a thriller. The Broncos and the Rabbits, a hard one to tip. The prediction for this is that Alfie Langer will be on the fucking field all day. He gets more time than some of the players on the interchange. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I'm tipping a bit of an upset here. And I've been leaning towards the Rabbits by four all week. You watch it happen now that I've said it. I always pick something and then it changes. But I'm going to tip the Broncos here by one point. I'm not going to say whether it will go to Golden Point or be a one-point thriller. But I think the Broncos will win 19-18 in this match. There's lots of ins and outs. Corey Allen is in for the Rabbitohs in jersey 19. Connor Tracy in jersey 21. Tom Burgess is out. Braden Burns has done his hamstring again. Jake Turpin and Tavita Pangai Jr. find themselves suspended, but Matt Gillette returns to the side who I'll touch on later. I do think that the Broncos will be too good against the Rabbits. Broncos to win, 19-18. The next game sees the Sharks up against the Warriors. I think the Sharks at home here, the Warriors are very inconsistent, but they're also very good away, so you could tip them for an upset here, but the Sharks have a lot to play for. Um, the Sharks and the Knights, for me, are gonna be fighting for that spot in the top eight. I think the Sharks will be too good though. Andrew Fafita's back for them. Kyle Flanagan in jersey 21. Ronaldo Matadia on the, Ronaldo Mat I can't pronounce it, on the wing. Matt Moylan is out. Again, again. Jared Beal has a knee injury and David Fusatua and Isaac Luke are both in for the Warriors. I think the Sharks win this one and uh, I think they win it 24 to 16 in Shark Park. I think it'll be a fairly good game, but I just can't tip the Warriors here, guys. The next game sees the Tigers up against the Knights. I think it'll be a really good game this one. It was a good game last time they played and the Tigers came away with the win. I think the Knights at the moment, they've got a lot to play for, especially uh, potentially making the eight. They found a bit of form on the likes of Ponga and Pierce and um, I think they'll win this match. I think they win it by six points. Um, that's for the ins and outs. Danny Levi's back in the side. Tim Glasby in jersey 21 in a bit of doubt. Connor Watson, Luke Garner's back. Josh Reynolds gets his chance at hooker now that Jacob Little and Robbie Farrar are both injured. Um, yeah, I'm going to tip the Knights in Campbelltown to win this match in a very high scoring thriller. Close to the last score they played, 28 points to 22. The next match, guys, I'll be heading down to. It's a fucking trek for me, but we're going down, me and me missus. The Dragons up against the Roosters. Now, 
The Roosters have been winning 13 plus. They've been at the right time of the season playing in superb form at the moment. But I think this game will be a bit closer than people expect and fairly low scoring in my opinion. I don't think the Dragons can win it. I want them to win it for Gareth Widdop. He's got three weeks left in the NRL. He's been an amazing player. But I think the Roosters will be good here. I'm tipping them 24 points to 12 in this match. Takiyaho's back in the side. Josh Kerr back for the Dragons in Jersey 19. I think the Dragons will put in a fight. Um, two tries, uh, 12 points to 24, but they will be competitive with the Sydney Roosters. The next one, you'd expect it to be a bloodbath. You can see it being an 80 to six. The Storm up against the Titans. As I said, the Titans have been woeful all year, but I thought they played really good last week, and I do expect them to get some tries in this match. I think the Storm at home will be too good here, and they will run away with it, but closer than some people will tip them. Not by 50. The Storm by 24 for me. It's a big scoreline, 38 points to 14. I think that the Titans will score quite a few tries at Amy Park. As for the ins and outs, Jared Wallace is back in for the side. Anthony Don in Jersey 20. The Storm welcome back in Jersey 18. I hope he plays. Curtis Scott is a fantastic player. Brandon Smith's back. Um, and I think the Storm will be too good at Amy Park 38-14. Final game of the round sees the Raiders up against Manly. Manly are Canberra's bogey team, but they've beaten the Storm. There's too much confidence for them for me to lose this game. I think it'll be very low scoring. I'm tipping the Raiders to beat Manly, 18 points to 16. I think it'll be an absolute thriller, this one. But I think the Raiders will be too good. As for the ins and outs, very quickly, I've got to go to this meeting. Uh, Joe Tarpany is out for the side. Cade Cuss looks to return for Manly. Um, and Hudson Young, as well as Michael Oldfield, Oldfield in for the Raiders. They're my tips for the week, guys. Let's quickly get into the best bets and let me know your tips in the comments. Okay guys, my multi for this week, I'm backing Parramatta Eels to beat the Dogs head to head. The Knights 1-12 against the Tigers. The Storm 13 plus, it's a given against the Titans. And the Raiders 1-12 paying $18. The Mega for this week, he's, in, uh, he's very close to being one of the top 10 try scorers of all time. Michael Jennings for Parra, I think he can cross the line. Cowboys are specials for me this week at home. Cowboys 1-12 to to prove something. Matt Gillette to score a try in his first game back. It's paying six bucks back it. And under 40 points in the Raiders game. Uh, $101 there. And the try scorers, four for the week. Big Ruffies, Remus Smith, Shane Wright, Matt Gillette and Josh Dugan paying 172. Please do subscribe, we're close to 1,000 subscribers. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think is gonna happen. And if you're back in your own multi, leave it in the comments. I'll see you guys in my Eels vs Bulldogs vlog on Thursday night.